Yellowstone supervolcano eruption threat pinpointed after accelerated inflation epiphany. A Yellowstone volcano scientist pinpointed a potential eruption threat after describing the moment he had an epiphany, quote unquote, over accelerated inflation. The caldera inside Yellowstone gets its name as a supervolcano due to the capability to inflict worldwide devastation in the event of a super eruption. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. It's located at the northwest corner of Wyoming, stretching into Montana and Idaho. And despite the eruption not occurring, a super eruption not having taken place uh, in the past 640,000 years, there was a lava eruption 70,000 years ago and another 80 eruptions since then. Now, this system is always monitored by USGS for any changes, and the University of Utah professor Robert Smith has been collaborating with the government agency USGS since the 60s in a bid to gain greater knowledge of Yellowstone geology. Now, he revealed during the Inside USGS documentary some of the most significant events that occurred in uh, furthering scientific, uh, the scientific understanding of how Yellowstone uh, uh, acts. He said the occurrence of the Hebgen Lake earthquake was an epiphany, the discovery of the gigantic uplift of the caldera followed by an earthquake swarm was the same. He said, wow, that was something that really got us tuned in. We had an accelerated uplift from 2004 to 2010. It was ongoing, up going up at uh, 25 centimeters. Now the Hebgen Lake earthquake took place August 17 of 1959. It was a 7.3 magnitude earthquake. Some called it a 7.5. Now, um, he says now, while you don't see it in your footsteps, you know that these are rates that are higher and faster than the San Andreas fault is loading. Okay, he says now, these rates of uh, inflation are higher and faster than the San Andreas Fault is loading. We know that even the, uh, the uh, California supervolcano, Long Valley Caldera, is uplifting as well because it's refilling. They have a geothermal plant there, uh, and they also have a geothermal plant in uh, uh, Ridgecrest where we had the uh, 7.3 earthquake, and they also have salt and uh, sea uh, 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 geothermal um, plant because of the uh, volcano, volcanic areas there. There's magma underneath. Now, Professor Smith went on to explain why they now believe earthquakes are key to releasing the pressure of the supervolcano at Yellowstone. He said back in 2015, so we view this caldera as a living, breathing thing, and I argue that all these little earthquake swarms we have are really just relief valves. So if we have a lot of swarms that tell us Fluids are squirting out of the magma body, and if we keep having swarms and squirting out, we're fine, he says. If we stop that process, the magma body is going to inflate, and we could have an eruption, he says. Keeping track closely of the GPS and measuring ground deformation with the seismic activity is helping us to understand the state of the system in terms of its capability and whether it's an imminent threat or not. He says, I have had epiphanies in my whole career up there. Now, more, most recently, researchers announced the discovery of two newly identified super eruptions associated with Yellow hot, uh, Yellowstone hotspot, including what they believe was the volcanic province's largest and most cataclysmic event, and the results indicate the hotspot could be waning in intensity. University of Leicester volcanolog volcanologist Thomas Knott said we discovered that deposits previously believed to belong to multiple smaller eruptions were in fact colossal sheets of volcanic material from two previously unknown super eruptions at about 8.9 million years ago. Both of the newly discovered super eruptions 
occurred during the Miocene, that was roughly 23 to 5.3 million years ago. Dr. Nott explained that these two new super eruptions bring the total of recorded Miocene super eruptions at the Yellowstone Snake River Volcanic Province to six. And he explained this means that the recurrent rate of Yellowstone hotspot super eruptions during the Miocene was on average once every 500,000 years. This is by Callum Hoare on Express UK.